Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a quick unboxing plus on feet video of the brand new CR7 Nike Mercurial Victory 4 in the Galaxy colorway. Now keep in mind that this is a takedown model so it does not come with any extras. All that's included in the box are the shoes themselves. So here is a look at the Galaxy Victory 4. The Victory 4 being probably one of, if not the most popular low-end soccer shoe currently out there on the market. Being that, it looks pretty good and generally the quality is half decent considering the other shoes in its price range. Um, as far as getting a pair of these for yourself goes, as of right now it still is a pre-order item. Um, with a ship date expected to be around November 7th. So if you guys are interested in getting a pair of these for yourself, be sure to check out the review page on my website, which you can find linked down below in the description. On that review page, you will find several different Buy It Now links to all the best online retailers, along with exclusive SR4U coupon codes to get yourself some additional discounts if you are interested in ordering a pair of these for yourself. Now, as far as the colorway itself goes, this is, of course, the Galaxy Print color um, that is on the latest CR7 Edition Mercurial line. Um, and the first thing that you guys are probably going to notice is two things. One, the Nike swoosh is white as opposed to metallic silver on both the outside and the inside of the shoe. And the other major difference is the Galaxy Print itself. You will notice that it tends to be a lot more black than it is blue. And that's just because every single model going from the top end to the low end, so the Victory, the Veloce, and the Vapor all have slightly different color variations in the Galaxy print itself, with the pattern actually being very, very similar. Um, so what I mean by that is, here is a look at the Victory, and here is a look at the top end Vapor. You can see that the stars are all in the exact same place, it's just that the quality of the print um, is a little bit different going from the top end Vapor to the low end Victory. Now on the Vapor you can see that the graphic looks very high quality, it's very smooth, there's really no visible pixels and overall it just has a very cool look about it. Now on the Victory 4 you can see that it's a lot more pixelated, the colors aren't quite as vibrant if you will. You can see that the stars have some visible pixels about them and just the quality of the print is just not quite on par with that top end Vapor 9 or even the slightly higher end Veloce which is to be expected but nonetheless if you're looking for that very unique Galaxy theme you're going to get that from the Victory 4. Now as far as the technical specifications of the shoe goes if you are interested in more information on the overall performance such as the fit and feel of the shoe be sure to check out the full written review on my website um, again which you can find linked down below in the description basically just to go over the tech specs very quickly the upper is made from a fairly low end synthetic leather material it does have that smooth leather grain finish like you would find on the higher end models but in all honesty it's not the best synthetic out there it has a fairly bulky mesh liner on the inside but once the shoe is broken in it's honestly not all that bad you got that central lacing system with an all black synthetic leather tongue to match the rest of the shoe itself you do have a very similar cut in the heel that tends to be a little bit lower an internal plastic heel counter um, um synthetic liner synthetic leather heel liner sorry a little bit of a tongue twister there the insole is fully removable it has a green glow mesh liner on top that cr7 rectangle they are numbered as number six Every single shoe has a number six in them. These are not individually numbered shoes, even though they are limited edition. The six implies that this is Cristiano Ronaldo's sixth signature colorway in the Mercurial line. And the insole itself is just one single layer of foam, as you guys can see, with no perforations at all. Now, as far as the sole plate and stud pattern go, it is a TPU plastic sole plate all throughout. You have the same kind of classic Mercurial stud pattern here in the forefoot area, where in the heel, as opposed to what you're gonna find on the Veloce and the Vapor 9, you have four studs as opposed to two, and that's just because this particular sole plate is not supported to handle that two stud setup, just because it's a little bit thinner and not quite as rigid as what you're going to find from the two higher end models. Nonetheless, the performance is still very good and very mercurial-esque if that's what you're looking for at a lower price point. So that's pretty much it as far as all the technical specifications go. And move on next to a quick weigh-in so you can get a better idea as to how lightweight these guys are. Given the cost of the Victory 4, it's actually lighter than you might expect. So I'm going to weigh this pair for you today in real time. Keep in mind that this is a brand new pair in a size 9 US. We're going to throw it on the scale. And you can see that these guys weigh in at 8.25 ounces. So they do weigh uh, significantly more than the top end Vapor 9. But given that it's right at that 8 ounce mark, that is pretty light and is going to provide you that nice kind of responsive feel on feet, given that you get the proper fit. 
So that's pretty much it as far as the weigh-in portion of this video. I'm gonna move on next to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes fit and what the sizing is like. All right, here's a look at the Victory 4s on feet. And from right out of the box, I have to say that this shoe does feel relatively stiff, especially if you do buy them with a tighter fit. Um, in terms of the overall width of the shoe, it is slightly more narrow cut than your average lower end shoe. So for the most part, I would definitely recommend staying away from the Mercurial series altogether if you do have slightly wider feet. The synthetic leather material will soften up after several hours of wear time, but keep in mind that it isn't going to stretch much at all. So the way it fits from right out of the box is more or less the way it's going to fit after break-in. Now in terms of sizing, I'm wearing my usual size 9 US here, and the fit and the length is pretty much perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would definitely recommend going true to size for the best possible fit. So that's pretty much it as far as the on-feet portion of this video, and I'll leave you to my final thoughts. All right guys, it's it for my unboxing of the Mercurial Victory 4 in the CR7 Galaxy colorway. It definitely does look the part. Um, while the quality isn't necessarily there in comparison to the higher end models, if you are on a bit of a budget and are looking for that mercurial style of shoe, the Victory 4 is definitely a decent option. Now as always, if you guys have any questions regarding this shoe, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you did enjoy today's video, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information down below in the description. Other than that guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thanks for watching.